I'm Ty Higgins with a new cab cam brought to you by Finnick Equipment. In Mercer County, farmers around here getting a lot done with the warm weather Mother Nature's given us, including this guy, Reggie Rose of Rose Dairy Farm. And uh, Reggie, I got here and, and looked at this dirt and I said, this is, uh, it's pretty ready. And you said it might be a little bit too ready, huh? Yeah, it kind of got away from us a little bit getting dry, but uh, we're getting there, I guess. It'll work. A lot of people think you need to get in as soon as possible. Some think you need to wait until the middle of May to even get the tractor out of the barn. So where are you? Are you, are you a little bit late compared to what you're used to right now? Yeah, last year about this time we was about done by May. We was about done by May, then we got the rains and we had to come back and replant a lot of it. So I guess maybe we're we're all right now. Tell me about the farm. Uh, we milk cows. Me, Dad, my grandpa. He still helps. He's uh. Grandpa, he turns 85 on Sunday, so happy birthday to him, and he still drives a lot of tractor. Uh, last year he worked on the ground for us, so he's a big help yet. At his age, I hope I can work as hard as him. Uh, and, uh, you know, we got a lot of good help at home. My mom and sister, hell, my grandma even helps, you know, so we can be out here getting the crop in and, you know, playing in the dirt while they do the real work at home. How much of this uh, is going to be going towards those cows here later on in the year? Uh, but put about 150 acres of corn silage down on the bunker uh, and uh, sell the rest and feed the rest and we will sell some too. So. How are feed supplies? You hanging in there? Yeah, getting a little close so we figured we better get out. So we started Saturday but we figured we better get out here you know, make sure we got feed we don't want to run out of corn silage. What's your outlook for dairy? It'll come around. I think it's kind of, you know, kind of like these chickens and, and the hogs, and, you know, the big guys kind of push the little guys out. And the dairy is kind of coming to that faster than I ever thought, but uh, we're hanging in there. So I guess someday if we got to milk a thousand cows or just raise heifers from one of them thousand cow dairies, that'll work too. Tell me about the equipment we're running here. Uh, we got a Case MX 125 and a John Deere 1760 corn planter. That's about the only piece of John Deere equipment we got on the farm. It works, I guess. <laughs> I talked to a fellow earlier this week who was 25, and you're just a year older at 26, so you plan on being in this for a while. What uh, is in the game plan for you as far as growing the operation, picking up a few acres here and there? Because um, I have to imagine the land around here is pretty competitive. Yeah, I guess just milk more cows. My dad really loves the cows. Uh, just kidding. So when I told him the other day we're going to milk a thousand, he about gave me a heart attack, but. <laughs> I guess that's my problem. Reggie Rose here in Mercer County planting corn on May the 1st and he's got a lot more ahead of him so uh, stay safe and thanks for letting me ride along for a little bit. Yeah no problem thanks for coming. For the Ohio Agnet I'm Ty Higgins we'll see you down the road. Thank you for watching the spring edition of the cab cam brought to you by Fennig Equipment. I'm Gary Fennig and here today we're showing you some uh, equipment that we purchased from Salford. It's the uh, Salford Pathfinder that uh, it pulls behind your implement. So this particular piece of equipment can be used for cover crop or dry fertilizer, putting it behind a strip till unit or behind a vertical tillage tool. So there's a, there's a lot of things that we can do with this piece of equipment. It holds six ton of product. It has a blower system on the back end of it. And we have different various of meters that we can put underneath this tank, depending on how many runs you wanna have. Here is our, our baby Valmar. It's our smallest Valmar that we offer in a poly hopper. It'll hold roughly 1,800 pounds of product. We can put this on either on top of your tillage tool or we can have it a tow between as a three-point mount. So give us a call today at 419-953-8500 and we'd be more than happy to help you out with these Salford products. Thanks for tuning in.